Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Now we've beaten the land speed record, that's old news, it's been done. But this time we will be beating another record, so let's start a new campaign where our agency name will not be the UK Space Agency. Yes, it's the UK Sea Agency. Because we are breaking the sea speed record today. I assume that's what it's called. Water speed, sea speed, boat speed. I don't know. I feel like sea is the most appropriate name. And whilst we didn't have much luck building a boat previously, I've now been told there is actually a way to do it better where it doesn't sink. Because rather than using these cargo bays, apparently if we use fuel tanks and empty them, we stand a much better chance of floating. So to start with, we're going to have this cockpit. Then I want a fuel tank in front, a fuel tank behind... And then we're just going to lower the fuel completely just to check that this is actually a thing and I haven't been lied to. So we then want a nose cone like that on the front and then probably one on the back as well, right? So let's just see, does this float? All right, there it is. Oh, it actually does. It does. Oh, man. Sorry, Bill. He's not liking that. He is not liking that. So we float, but we're not the most stable. What is it doing? It's, it's got propulsion somehow. <laughs> Oh, Bill's actually having fun now. He's like in an underwater submarine. It's going so fast. Why is it going so fast? Yeah, now Bill's in trouble. Sorry, Bill. Now, in the previous video, we tried to like go down with like a big fin to try and keep us stable. Didn't really work, particularly as that we kept going underwater as well. Uh, but this time I was thinking sort of like maybe a catamaran sort of design might be better. Give us a bit of stability. So we're going to go into structures probably. And then we've got different sorts of beams. Or well, we could use trusses. Now, I love, I do love a truss. The trouble is the way this game works, I can only connect to one thing. So what I mean by that is if I shove those there and then another set down the bottom, if I want to add like another tube, it can only connect to one of them, not both. Although perhaps I could strut it. Maybe I could strut it. So anyway, more fuel tanks. I'll probably move them back a little bit. So I'll do something like that. Shove the nose cones on front and end. And yeah, so basically these aren't connected. So I think I'll need some struts. Now, I've also learned how to use the camera bit better as well. If I if I middle mouse over there, then I can zoom in on that piece. So that makes things a bit easier. But yeah, we'll strut on top, underneath, and on both sides. And um, before we add any propulsion or anything, let's just check that this floats uh, and that it's stable, I guess. So there, it, where, what is it doing? <laughs> Okay, so no, it doesn't float and no, it's not stable. Disappointing, not gonna lie. But back in the VAB, I've just worked out why it's because, <laughs> it's because I did lower the fuel amount. Oops. <laughs> this is why engineers always check their work before actually building it. All right, so we're all empty of fuel now. So hopefully this time we actually float. Yes, but we are moving still. Wait, are we floating? Does that count as floating? It's coming back up. It's coming back up. Okay, we're good. Is this why ships have anchors? Is this what they do if they didn't anchor to the... <laughs> What is going on? Oh, something tells me this is going to be harder than I imagined it was going to be. Perhaps a few underwater fins would actually help. So if I do that and just slightly tweak it. Okay, so this might actually... Okay, we're still stuck in a whirlpool apparently. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's definitely sort of floating. I don't understand what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. It's perfectly symmetrical. Like, why? Is it because the water moves that it's doing this and the physics are just freaking out? Oh, is it SAS? Can I turn SAS off? No, apparently not. I really thought this would, like, especially being oversized, I thought it might, like, keep me somewhat balanced. I mean, looking at the center of pressure, it's there. So what if I were to remove that? Then center of mass is bang on at the center of pressure. So it shouldn't be going mental, right? Maybe. Well, perhaps if we just add some propulsion, maybe a bit of like forward momentum might actually like stabilize this thing a bit. I may put fins on. I mean, to be honest, I'll put them. I'll put them everywhere. And I've set them just to do the yaw. So that should be okay. I mean, I probably only want them at the back, really. I'll try four, though, for now. Anyway, let's get the propulsion down. So what I'm thinking, perhaps you go with like a jet engine. How, oh, man, that's 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 probably too big, that one. But like, that does look like it could be a boat, right? Yeah, the weight sure has lowered my center of pressure. Yeah, the trouble with adding this as well is it means I've got to add some fuel. So this front one, if we add a bit of methane, I I think that's what jets use. So let's see what happens. All right, somewhat underwater. I have fired the jet engine. Oh, it's at, it's at full speed. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be too shocked it's doing this. Like, what did I expect? Yeah, so it's too early to add an engine. I reckon we try and make this thing more stable first. So what I'm thinking, if I get rid of those on the edge, what if I grab these and sort of angle them down a bit? And then perhaps I add larger fuel tanks. So I'm just thinking if it's like, if it's bigger, if it's longer, it should be 
be more stable, right? So center of pressure and center of mass, they're now on the same place, which is good. Although, hang on, hang on. Learn from your mistakes, Matt. Lower that fuel. And then I'm not going to bother with nose cones. I just want to see if it goes mental or not. Um, sort of. I think I forgot to strut it. So I've strutted the front and back. What? <laughs> what happened there? Structural failure on linkage between Stux 4 and the Lutter 800. Okay, so the Stux 4 are the trusses and the Flut 800 is that. Okay, so maybe if I just truss this top end, it might be stronger. All right, we're in. We are in. Frame rate is nearly dead, but um, we are in. So I've turned the jet engine on. I don't think it's running yet because it is underwater. Yeah, this isn't really float. Why isn't it floating? I you can see there's like no fuel at all in these fuel tanks. Yeah, the good news is we're not sinking and we are picking up speed. So let's just speed up time because I guess that's our first legitimate attempt, right? <laughs> So, recover vessel, yeah, 38 meters a second. Which you might be laughing and saying, Matt, that's not very fast. It's 85 mile an hour. You'd get done for speeding in the UK for that. Anyway, before we go on to a new design, I am just going to try this with nose cones. I'm thinking maybe that does actually help. I mean, it looks more catamaran-ish, if anything. I've also strutted everything together as well. So, you can see the front strutted there. We've strutted the trusses up as well. Uh, and all it did was... <laughs> It did that somehow. How did it do that? Right, so perhaps I want to try stability rather than with the truss arms. If we use this cockpit, we can then use the waist piece. And I say waist piece because it looks like a like the torso of a of a person. Like everyone else sees that, right? It look it looks like a like it looks like a person. Yeah, yeah. No, just me. What about now? Now it's got a face. <laughs> That's terrifying. All right, I sort of want to see what happens. Okay, so here we are. We're... Okay, he's got a sinky head. He's got a sinky head. So is that more stable and does that float? Uh, what do you reckon, Bill? <laughs> What if we add wings? Because that should stop it flapping, right? These wings, they don't have fuel in, do they? They weigh a ton each. Not ideal, but we're not rolling sideways. So perhaps if we just add a bit more buoyancy. Oh, wait, it's spinning, it's spinning. Don't spin, don't spin. Oh, it's a dolphin. <laughs> so what if I lose the waist pieces since it adds no stability? We can go... Oh, look, there's just methane tanks. We can put like a ton of methane in each. Don't have to worry about oxidizer. Then none in the ones at the end. So I assume that will still be buoyant, right? Yes. Why? How can you roll with wings that wide? How? Why is it going backwards? <laughs> Don't go that way, you knob. Oh, you silly boy. Oh, well, now it's stuck to the... <laughs> I'm really not sure these physics are right. <laughs> Would that happen in real life? Maybe it's like statically attracted to the concrete dock. Not gonna lie though, best attempt so far. So with big jet engine there, perhaps I want to add one more empty fuel tank to the rear. So I'm starting to think center of pressure. Does that, I don't think that's talking about like sea pressure. I think it's pressure once there's uplift from the wings perhaps. I don't know. We'll try that. And then, oh, it's got movement. Okay, so it's leaning forward. It's leaning forward. I mean, and it's... Is it is it sinking or is it just like moving? I can't really tell anymore. No, it's attracted to the concrete again. <laughs> All right, so it looks like no matter what I do, my wings aren't moving us anywhere. But if we make the control surface longer and go to the very edge, I mean, we could even like thicken this thing up. So surely that's better. Oh my goodness, turn SAS off. They're going mental. All right, so pull up. Why is it... <laughs> Why is it going absolutely mental? Is that pulling us up though? It might, no, I, no, no. We're very, we're very much just thinking. Although, although, no, I think that was a fluke. I think that was a fluke. <laughs> it does give me a question though. Can I add things to the ends of wings? Oh, I did not know you could do that. That could change everything. That's a proper catamaran. That should give us like triple the buoyancy if if they stay attached. So what if I do like that instead? Yeah, no. No. Man, this is really inflexible. It feels like it's a bit more stable, though. I'm not sure if struts, like, make things better or worse, though. Let me just check something, too. If I were to delete, like, the wings, and then literally just attach these like that. Like, is that stronger? Does it attach along the whole piece? Right, so we've gone for, like, a raft-style vehicle. They're all empty. I'm actually thinking maybe that's the issue. Like, is it so light that the physics just say, no, oh, man, I need to... <laughs> Looks like a load of coloring pencils. Oh my goodness, that blew up. Let me just strut these quick. So center of mass is way at the back. So it shouldn't nosedive, right? Um, <laughs> how am I meant to do this? 
The game just has no logic at this point. To be fair, though, we're picking up speed. We are picking up speed. Yeah, 16.3 meters a second. Not quite a record. I feel like the wings did help. So we're going back to wings. So take those off. Wang your wing in there. Oh, I, can actually, I can make these really long, can't I? So then we attach these. I mean, I could add loads of wings or I could just try that first. Let me just restart everything okay come on so we're in the water we're oh, i don't know what's happening oh okay then ah so for some reason what the hell that's so weird so basically when i stuck these on this side they're like they're exactly as they were before so no methane in them but the ones that were mirrored on this side they are now filled with methane hence a deadly explosion so we just got to go through these and lower all the methane manually that's annoying but now i think we should be good um <laughs> Okay, not quite. Yeah, it's because the struts went a bit crazy for some reason, but I think we're now good. So attempt a billion with struts sorted, fuel tank sorted. Oh, it's actually, it's working. It it was working. All right, screw this engine on. I think it, I think it's too wet to fire. Although technically, have we broken the, we've broken the water speed record 34 meters a second. We've broken it 39 meters a second. Oh, we got it to 60. Oh no, actually, that's yes, because we exploded. Never mind. All right, perhaps we don't want a jet engine on there because it doesn't work underwater. It seems to be, well, it just doesn't work. So instead, shall we replace this tail with a waste piece and then shove two rockets on there? Now, not entirely sure if normal, if normal rockets, if they actually require methyl. Is there a methane? Yeah, there's not a methane one. If we shove two vectors on there, then we just need to make sure. I think if we make sure they have air rather than oxidize it, is that a thing? I don't know. If we add a few of these down the back, though, and we know they're definitely getting air. It's just whether they still work or whether they actually need oxidizer. I should probably up the fuel a little bit as well. Let's see if it works. So, whoa. <laughs> I think that fizzled. Right, if I turn down the throttle and then... Okay, so yeah, we found out it won't... It, it needs oxidizer, basically. So get rid of these stupid scoops. Swap these two fuel tanks with the methalox ones. And then launch it exactly as it was before. So SAS off. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. We're heading down. Pull up. Pull up. Why? Oh, now they came. Oh, come on. All right, well, let's just try it full throttle. Boosh. Oh, man, we lost, we lost the wings. But uh, to be fair if this lands in the water which it's 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 not going to is it but i know what we're missing we need a sea shanty oh bill went to sea and he was gonna not die actually yeah it's what it's working right keep thinking of shanty stuff we're gonna go to sea and be a piratey with no frame rate somehow the song is making this work let's up the throttle a little bit yeah 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 does this count as a boat i think it literally does that's gotta count that has got to count as a boat <laughs> I mean, we lost most of it back there, but I feel like the speed isn't actually any faster. Like, when it's actually in the water, we're like, we barely got to 40. Can we say 82 meters a second? I'm really, really not sure if that counts. It is making me think, though, did I go overboard with my design? Should I have just done, like, thrust? And then perhaps underneath. I mean, if I just stuck a load of I-beams underneath and then put control surfaces sort of like that, could I make, like, a hydrofoil? I mean, the fact a boat won't work, I'm not going to hold my breath. But the theory is power will see this through. So let's change the vehicle name to Power! Power! And then we just got to fire this thing straight away. Oh my god, it's actually it's actually working better. You just add some more fuel tanks. All right, so for some reason, the back ones are like inverted. Uh, but is that a boat? Have I made a boat? I think I might have done. What's the speed? It's still only 30. It's 38 meters a second, like the max you can go on water. All right, let's just invert the controls of these rear wings. And then, right, we've made a submarine. Let's just get to the surface. And then it's a boat. All right, so that's a boat, right? That's got to be a boat. So 40 meters a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's got to count. That's literally got to count. Let's see what speed we can get to. I saw 45. We, oh, we got to 64 meters a second. That's 143 miles an hour. Blooming hell. Let me just replace these methane tanks with these oxidizer ones. Or methyl ox. So there we have it. Is it a boat? Is it a plane? I, I don't know. All I know is it's the fastest boat I can make. <laughs> I don't know if, like, the game's just broken and it won't let us make boats yet or if I'm just really dumb. Let me know in the comments. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and 76 meters a second or 170 miles an hour. Bye, guys.